Hi, my name is Katie and I'm with Newport Fertility Center, CCRM Orange County, and this is an instructional video on mixing and injecting an HCG trigger shot. If you have a pregnal, you'll have a vial of liquid and a vial of powder with 10,000 units of medication in it. After washing your hands, the first step is to pop off the plastic caps of both of the vials and wipe the tops with an alcohol swab. If your dose is 10,000 units, you'll have a 3 ml syringe with a 1.5 inch 22 gauge needle. Insert it into your vial of liquid, flip it upside down, ensuring that the tip of your needle is submerged in the water, and then pull out 1 ml of the liquid. Slowly inject this 1 ml of liquid into your vial of powder. You can gently roll the vial in between your hands to mix all of the liquid in with the powder. Once all of your medication has totally dissolved within the liquid, you can flip your vial upside down, ensuring that the tip of your needle is submerged in the liquid, and pull everything out. You should have an empty vial. Carefully recap your mixing needle and exchange it for your injection needle. This will be a one and a half inch 25 gauge. Face your syringe upwards and tap to expel air bubbles to the top. Gently press up on your plunger until you see a little bubble of liquid at the top of your needle. That's how you know you don't have any more air in your syringe. Unlike your other injections, this will be an intramuscular injection in the upper outer quadrant of your buttocks. Wipe the skin with alcohol, spread the skin apart, and then inject at a 90 degree angle all the way down until the hub of the needle. The first thing you wanna do is aspirate, which means to gently pull back on the plunger of the syringe. If you see a little air bubble or nothing at all, you're good to inject the one cc. If your syringe fills with blood, stop. It means you're in a blood vessel. Take your needle out, go a little bit to the right or left, and then try again. Hold pressure for about 60 seconds after injection to reduce the risk of bruising. If you have Novarel or a generic HCG, you should have 5,000 units of medication. Check your box. You'll have a vial of liquid and a vial of powder with 5,000 units of medication in it. The first step after washing your hands is to pop the plastic caps off of both of your vials and wipe the top with an alcohol swab. Take your 3ml syringe with your 1.5 inch 22 gauge needle and insert it into your vial of liquid. Flip it upside down and ensure that the tip of your needle is submerged in the liquid and pull out 1ml of liquid. Inject slowly into your vial of powder. Then you can gently roll the medication in between your hands until all the medication is dissolved within the liquid. Once everything is totally dissolved, flip your vial upside down, ensuring that the tip of your needle is submerged in the liquid and pull everything out. You should have an empty vial. Carefully recap your mixing needle and exchange it for your injection needle. This is going to be a one and a half inch 25 gauge needle. With your syringe facing upward, gently tap to expel air bubbles towards the top and then push on the top of your plunger to expel all of the air. If your dose is 2,500 units, you'll only take out half of the medication in this vial of 5,000 units. In this case, we put in one cc of liquid so when you flip it upside down, ensuring that the tip of your needle is submerged within the liquid, you'll only pull out 0.5 cc's, or half. Unlike your other injections, this will be an intramuscular injection in the upper outer quadrant of your buttocks. Wipe the skin with alcohol, spread the skin apart, and then inject at a 90 degree angle all the way down to the hub of the needle. The first thing you want to do is aspirate, which means to pull back on the plunger of the syringe. If you see a little air bubble or nothing at all, you're good to inject the medication. If your syringe fills with blood, stop. It means you're in a blood vessel. Take your needle out, go a little bit to the right or left, and then try again. After injection, hold pressure for about 60 seconds to reduce the risk of bruising.